Before the first light touches Anatolia, before engines roar across the plains, a new presence stirs in the cold. A silhouette with the stance of a predator, curved edges designed to disappear into the wind. The echoes of a century of ambition woven into every rivet, every composite panel. This is Khan. Turkey's declaration that the age of dependency has ended. In an era defined by stealth, AI, and invisible warfare, Khan emerges as a symbol of a nation claiming its place among the creators of the world's most advanced war weapons. Not borrowed, not imported, born of necessity, built for modern warfare, designed for skies ruled by hypersonic threats drone swarms, and next-generation fighter jets that see before they are seen. This opening moment is not simply an unveiling. It is an awakening, the beginning of Turkey's leap into global military power, into the arena of future war machines where only the bold survive. Long before Khan's first rivet was welded, Turkey's journey through air power was carved in the smoke of conflict and the roar of borrowed engines. F-5s patrolled the Aegean. F-4 Phantoms flew low over rugged borders. F-16s became the backbone of combat operations, intercepting threats, escorting convoys, and responding to the unpredictable rhythm of the region. But every mission taught a painful lesson. An Air Force dependent on imports is an Air Force limited by politics. In a world where alliances shift faster than missiles travel, Turkey saw the risk and made a historic decision. Khan would not simply be another aircraft. It would be the guardian of sovereignty, a symbol of independence in the escalating chessboard of military technology. Every transformation begins with a crisis. The geopolitical storms of the 2010s redrew alliances and tested loyalties. Export restrictions tightened. Joint programs cracked under pressure. Suddenly, Turkey faced a future where its skies could be vulnerable, its air superiority uncertain. But instead of retreating, Turkey advanced. It took the hardest path, the one walked only by nations determined to join the elite creators of future war machines. With enemies near and far investing in stealth, drones, precision missiles, and electronic warfare, the message was clear, adapt or fall behind. Ka'an became Turkey's answer, not tomorrow's aircraft, but tomorrow's strategy. Stealth is not a feature. It is an art form, a geometry of survival. Khan's airframe was sculpted to bend radar waves, to vanish in the twilight between detection and destruction. Its diverterless intakes reduce radar reflections. Its internal bays hide missiles from probing sensors. Its design language speaks of one truth. In modern warfare, the one who disappears first wins. But stealth is more than shape. It is heat management, electromagnetic discipline, infrared suppression, digital deception. Khan is not simply hard to see. It is engineered to lie to the battlefield, to distort, to confuse, to mislead enemy sensors in ways that define the future of air combat. Power is the heartbeat of dominance. Khan's twin engines push it into the arena of true air superiority. The ability to climb higher, turn sharper, accelerate faster, and engage or disengage at will. With super cruise capability on the horizon, Khan enters the rare league of fighters that can sustain supersonic flight without afterburners. Modern air battles are not fought with muscle alone. They are fought with information. Khan's cockpit is a command throne powered by artificial intelligence 
neural networks, and sensor fusion that merges data from across the battle space. The pilot doesn't just see the enemy, Khan predicts them. It tracks trajectories, evaluates threats, prioritizes targets, and recommends strategies in real time. In the sky of tomorrow, where drones, missiles, and stealth fighters move like chess pieces on a digital board, Khan is designed to think faster than the human eye can blink. Inside Khan's hidden bays lies a silent arsenal, long-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided bombs, next-generation beyond-visual-range weapons. The aircraft carries its claws concealed, opening its internal chambers only in the final moments before a strike. This strategy preserves stealth, surprises the enemy, and gives Khan the ability to dominate airspace before hostile pilots even know they're being targeted. In the battlefield strategy of future conflicts, the deadliest strike is the one no radar ever sees. Emotional, deep cinematic voice, storytelling plus history and warfare. Dogfighting has changed. The tight turns of the Cold War era have given way to a duel of detection, of sensors, angles, and anticipation. With thrust, stealth, and advanced avionics, KAAAN redefines close quarters combat. Its agility allows it to twist through the sky like a blade through air, while its AI-assisted targeting keeps the pilot focused on survival, not systems. In the future skies, dogfights are no longer about who can maneuver better, but who can outthink the air itself. Turkey's airspace is a complex battlefield. From the Black Sea's cold winds to the fiery deserts bordering the Middle East. Khan is engineered for this environment, designed to patrol, defend, and dominate an area where geopolitical tension is a constant companion. Each sortie is more than a flight. It is a message to friend and foe alike. The skies of Anatolia are guarded by a machine built for the demands of the region's toughest combat operations. Night, when the world becomes a battlefield of shadows and whispers. Kaon's infrared sensors, low-light targeting, and advanced radar turn darkness into a tactical advantage. While other aircraft hesitate, Kaon thrives, using night as a cloak to strike unseen and return unheard. Its fusion of stealth and night dominance gives Turkey something rare, 24-hour air superiority, the ability to carry out missions in weather, darkness, and electronic interference. The next war will not be fought alone. Ka'an leads the pack of Turkey's drone revolution, Kizilelma, Anka 3, Oksunger, a digital wolf pack commanded from the sky. This is man-machine teaming, a shift in military technology where the fighter jet becomes an airborne general directing unmanned allies into the fire. Ka'an marks the beginning of aerial warfare where AI-driven drones strike, distract, blind, and overwhelm enemy defenses. Across Europe, defense analysts see Khan as a new variable, a stealth fighter emerging from a nation bridging two continents. Its presence reshapes strategies across NATO, the Middle East, and Central Asia. Rivals watch with caution, allies recalibrate their expectations, and for the first time, Turkey steps not as a participant, but as an architect of global military power, showcasing that fifth-gen fighters are no longer the privilege of superpowers alone. Electronic warfare is the new front line, invisible, silent, devastating.
Khan enters this arena as a digital phantom, equipped with jammers, threat detectors, radar absorbers, and signal disruptors built to blind enemy aircraft and confuse their missiles. In the modern battlefield, victory belongs not to the loudest machine, but to the smartest one. Khan is Turkey's move into the world of electromagnetic dominance. From Syria to the Eastern Mediterranean, Turkey's combat radius stretches across regions where air dominance isn't optional, it's essential. Khan is built to respond instantly, strike deeply, and survive the heat of intense defense systems and surface-to-air missile networks. Its range, stealth, and advanced avionics make it a guardian of borders that face constant uncertainty. The Black Sea is a chessboard of rising tensions. Drones lost, ships shadowed, jets intercepted. Khan's presence here is more than a patrol. It is a reminder that Turkey holds one of the world's most contested airspaces. With its sensors scanning far beyond the horizon, Khan becomes the silent overseer of a region where miscalculation can spark crisis. Every great fighter is defined by its rivals. F-35, Su-57, J-20, each represents a philosophy of war, a vision of future air dominance. Khan stands among them not as an imitation, but as a new contender shaped by Turkey's unique strategic environment. Cheaper to produce than Western jets, more practical than exotic Eastern designs, and deeply integrated with drone warfare, Khan becomes a new category, the practical fifth-gen war machine. Great fighters aren't built for a decade. They're built for half a century. Khan's modular architecture allows upgrades in radar, sensors, AI, engines, and weapon systems. Future variants may come with directed energy weapons, new generation missiles, and AI co-pilots. In an age where warfare evolves faster than treaties, adaptability is survival. Emotional, deep cinematic voice, storytelling plus history plus warfare. Every breakthrough invites disbelief. Critics warn Turkey lacked the experience. Skeptics questioned the timeline. Rivals dismissed it as ambition without substance. But ambition built the jet. Determination flew it. Khan's first test flight silenced many. A reminder that nations rise when they dare to attempt what others say they cannot. The moment Khan's wheels left the earth for the first time, a century transformed into seconds. That lift wasn't just aerodynamic, it was emotional, historical, geopolitical. Turkey had entered a new chapter, joining the few nations capable of producing a true stealth fighter, a machine blending aerospace engineering with the demands of modern warfare. Khan stands now not as a prototype, but as a promise. A promise that Turkey will shape its own destiny in the age of drones, stealth fighters, AI warfare, missile combat, and unpredictable global conflict. Its silhouette is more than engineering. It is a message carved into the sky, a nation that builds its wings controls its future. And as Khan ascends into the coming decades of rapid technological warfare, only one question remains. In a world where machines think, drones swarm, and nations compete for the skies, who will rule the battlefield of tomorrow?